Next up on Friday Focus, we will have a spotlight on the lovely city of Centerville and an exclusive interview with the Mayor Brooks Compton. Afterwards, we will get up close and personal with wagging tails, floppy ears, soft meows, and wet noses. Today on Friday Focus, we will look at our lovely city of Centerville with an exclusive interview with the Mayor Brooks Compton. We will also be visiting our local animal adoption center, Sixa, for a sneak peek on their story. <laughs> We wanted to get more information about the city of Centerville, and who better to get answers from than the mayor himself. The city of Centerville has a very strong sense of community. Our mayor, Brooks Compton, explains why this is true. Centerville community is a great community. It, it's a diverse community. We have all sorts of housing, various parts of housing. We have, as you say, tons of parks throughout our community, lots of uh, recreational activities. We have an outstanding school system, outstanding police department. And we just have an excellent community, a community that gets along, gets along extremely well, enjoys participating in the activities that we have in the community. We have a lot of opportunity through the Americana, a ghost walk, activities during the summer that are available, and then all the school activities. One important part of the community is the parks that Centerville has to offer. Centerville absolutely prides itself on its parks. Uh, we have more than 50 parks in the city of Centerville and Washington Township. And I can tell you as being mayor and having been on council for a number of years, that the parks bring to us people who want to live here, not only because of the schools, because of the good parks, the good roads, the good police, et cetera. But the parks are a major part of why people come here to live in this community. For the many years Centerville has been around, our strong sense of community only grows. Well, the city of Centerville in 2018 it was first incorporated in 1968 under the logo Progress and Stability. And in 2018, the city of Centerville will be 50 years old. Thank you, Mr. Compton, for keeping the Centerville community going strong. This has been Tyler Siney from Friday Focus. Happy 50th birthday, Centerville, and many more. Sixa is a pet adoption center that houses cats and dogs until they are ready to get adopted by loving families. To get more information, we traveled to Kettering, Ohio to find out the history of the company as well as how we can help in any way possible. Siska's kennel and facility manager, Emma Blackman Mathis, tells us how Siska is different from other pet adoption centers. Siska is an, a, a private nonprofit organization. So we were started by a group of concerned citizens in Kettering uh, in the 70s. Uh, what makes us different is really that community effort. We are very, very grassroots. Um, to our core. We're not supported by government funding, we're not supported by big business or anything. We really are an organization of the community by the community. Um, SIXA has grown exponentially uh, since the 70s and we're doing really well, but we're staying true to our roots and being connected to the community. Uh, we are a limited intake facility and no kill, uh, so we don't unnecessarily euthanize animals unless they're really sick and need it. Emma tells us how SISCA's mission is still relevant today. Six's mission is to promote the adoption and welfare of companion animals and to nurture loving, lifelong relationships between animals and people. Uh, it's definitely still relevant today, uh, in, especially in light of um, lots of news about overpopulation and, and pet homes and making sure that people are taking care of themselves and their pets. Um, we do a lot of work with community to support our mission through um, spay neuter program to make sure that people have access to the services that they need for their pets. We also, uh, our primary mission is the adoption of those animals. So we do a lot of adoptions. We do almost 2,000 adoptions a year. Charlotte Jewell, Cisco's Humane Education Director, explains the requirements to become a volunteer. Uh, we have several youth volunteer programs. Our uh, youth programs start at age eight Ages 8 to 12 have to volunteer with an adult, and ages 13 to 17 can be part of our volunteer program. Volunteers volunteer without an adult, uh, but they do go through our special Paws and Tails Academy. They're required to take um, orientation, dog basics, dog basics lab, and cat basics before they can volunteer. Um, we have additional opportunities for those volunteers as well for education and being part of our community. This has been Tyler Siney from Friday Focus. Thank you for tuning in to this week's episode of Friday Focus, and we hope to see you next week.